Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am sharing a really quick and easy tutorial for making parchment paper, cupcake, or muffin liners. Like I said, this is very simple. I use these all the time if I don't have store-bought liners on hand, and a lot of you have asked me where I get my parchment paper liners. Well, I make them, it's very simple. So let me go ahead and walk you through the steps. Now, of course, you are going to need some nonstick parchment paper to make these liners, and white or brown will work fine. I just kind of like the way the brown one looks, so I use that more often. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to rip off a strip that's at least four and a half to five inches wide of your parchment paper. Now when you're making these liners, you have a lot of wiggle room because they don't really need to be an exact uniform size, but just to make things easier for myself when making them and when I'm portioning out my muffin batter later on, I do like to just measure that this first strip and make sure it is about four and a half to five inches wide and I'll trim it down if needed. I'm just going to make some rough pencil marks and then cut off that excess. Now let's cut this parchment into a square and for my first one, again, I'll usually measure just to make sure it's about even in its dimensions. Now, once you have your first square cut, you can use this as a template to cut out 12 or as many parchment paper liners as you need. Again, they do not need to all be exactly the same size. They don't need to be totally uniform. And I would err on making them a little bit larger rather than a little bit smaller. Once you've cut out all the squares you need, you are going to need a can. You're going to want one that fits snugly into your muffin or cupcake tin, as this one does. This is just a can of tomato paste, and it fits pretty much perfectly. Now take your can. Now take one of your squares of parchment paper and center that over the base of the can. Parchment paper tends to curl in one direction depending on the way it's been rolled. I usually like to place the paper with the curl facing towards me. That way when I fold it, the liner tends to pull apart rather than fold into itself. That's just going to make it easier for portioning out your muffin batter. That way you don't make a mess. Now, once you've placed it, we're just going to gently press down and fold and make creases with this parchment paper. And there you have your parchment paper liner. Usually for good measure, I will then put that in my muffin tin and use my can again just to firmly press it in there just for good measure. And that's it. That's all there is to making parchment paper liners at home. So I hope this is helpful to those of you who were wondering. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if this was helpful to you and I'll see you next time.